You know, I've got USA pride. I think America's the best, but we're not the best at one thing, damn it, and that's art for horror movies. Today we're gonna look at the Elm Street films with their foreign releases and posters and things like that, and we're gonna see just how great America is. Now these are completely out of order. I found these on the internet, and some of these are so cool, it's ridiculous, and it makes me wonder why the flip don't we do art like this sometimes? Sometimes America gets it right. but. Some countries, they just kill it with this artwork. So let's look at some foreign A Nightmare on Elm Street franchise posters and some VHS release artwork. All right, so here we go. La Fin de Freddy. This is obviously from Freddy's Dead. Now, this is something I would gladly display in the horror room. As if we could see, Freddy is rocking his own 3D glasses. Not only that, you notice the backdrop, like that 80s and 90s, hey, let's take a family photo together. That's what he's behind. And, um... Yeah, it's funny, like, does this, does this doesn't even look like a horror movie poster. Which, granted, Freddy's Dead is a funny movie, but still, this is this is pretty hysterical. Uh, I'm gonna give this uh, three out of five stars. Next. Okay, next we've got Freddy 3, Les Griffiths de du Kashmar. Alright, so this art's pretty wicked. As we can see, we've got Joey tied up on the bed. He's on a, looks like a bed of lava, or like a pit, rather. Uh, this is great art. This is very busy. Uh, they love the numbers, so I think in a, uh, some places overseas, it's actually called The Nightmare on Elm Street 6, Freddy's Dead. Uh, but as we see, Freddy 3 here. This is a great poster. Uh, love the artwork on it. As you can see at the bottom right, there is Kristen's mom's head just to the side. She didn't make the cut that much on the poster. She made half of her face. I'll give this one 4 out of 5 stars. Next. Okay, so this is like some kind of tie poster or something, I think. Uh, this is amazing. I always loved Penis Freddy. Uh, here he is swallowing Kristen, and that thing is just terrifying. I, I loved it so much. In the movie, it always freaked me out. Uh, this is a great poster. Uh, I would certainly rock this in here. I'm going to give this one a perfect five. Love it. Next. Okay, so this is a, a Nightmare on Elm Street 4 poster. Uh, La, Le, Le Cauchemar de Freddy. Uh, so this is fairly similar to the theatrical poster that we have in America, except they ditch the background stuff. They throw flames up in the front, and then an awesome shot of Freddy coming out of the ground. And if you look, it actually looks at his other hand is making the claws come from under the ground. I didn't notice that until just a second ago. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's interesting how they just take liberties in, in the foreign markets for their posters and it, I always wondered that why do can they not use the American poster art do they have to do different artwork do they just have different divisions and they they market differently that's something I've always wanted to understand a little bit better this is pretty good though I'll give it three out of five stars next okay so this looks like it's uh maybe Turkish or something I I don't know I'm not good with these with these languages but this is for the first Nightmare on Elm Street. This, I really like. I like this image of Nancy better. Granted, it doesn't look like her as much as the original, but I love this shot. I love the overhead you get on this. Uh, Nightmare Mordorishi Traumi. Is that how you say it? Anyway, this is great. I love this artwork. I'm going to give this one four out of five stars. Next. Okay, here we go. Now, this is amazing. This is a Dream Child artwork. I freaking love it. Look at the bottom right. There is a little cartoon Freddy uh, that is just phenomenal. How do you not love that? That is amazing. I freaking love that. Love the blue tones in the background. The baby cradle is amazing. I always love that demon baby cradle uh, for Nightmare 5. I have the video store poster that is very similar to this, just... Uh, the background is a solid blue and not kind of like that smoky blue. And I wish it had that cartoon Freddy in the bottom. Are you kidding me? That is criminal. That uh, that isn't more popular. We got to make that like a household thing. That little cartoon Freddy. Five out of five. Next. Holy crap! Look at this Freddy's Dead poster. This is insanity. Uh, so we've got all kinds of stuff going on. We got that iconic shot of Freddy at the top coming through the dimension, so to speak. We've got Carlos's ear. We've got, 
guys with baseball bats in the background. We've got long Freddy arms. We've got uh, Freddy's daughter with her 3D glasses on. We've got the school bus in the bottom left. This is fantastic. Um, not sure what language this is, but this is an amazing poster. I would die to rock something like this. This is a six out of five star poster for Freddy's Dead. Absolutely amazing. Perfect score. Next. All right, so here we go. We got another uh, Nightmare 4 poster. This one's really cool. Uh, I dig this one a lot. I, I, I especially like that they added uh, Freddy Chest of Souls in the bottom right there. That's a great look. Uh, they kind of play with the colors a little bit, kind of like uh, vibrance it up a little bit, uh, zoom in on stuff. It's a little, it's a little off-centered, uh, but a good poster. I'll give this one three and a half out of five stars. Next. All right, so we've got some Nightmare Two action here. Nightmare Two La Revincitia, Revent, whatever. Uh, they really simplify this poster, but I gotta be honest with you, I dig this. I actually really dig this. I would certainly rock this one as well. Uh, good poster. Look how jacked Mark, uh, Mark Patton is. Look at his, look at his arm. Holy crap. That's a cool poster. They simplify it, eliminate the background. I'll give it three and a half out of five stars. Next. Okay, so here's another Nightmare 2 poster. This one is wild. I don't know where this is from. Uh, found this on the internet. This is sick. As you can see in the, in the top left, there's that shot of the one stunt double guy who played Freddy that made it into the film for that one shot. It's a creepy shot, too. Uh, great poster. We've got the mom on here. The mom never had to do it, deal deal with anything in Nightmare 2. Uh, maybe the bird. The bird scene. But other than that, you know, that's a great poster. Really cool. Really dig it. It reminds me of those Ghana posters that are coming out that are obviously unofficial, but they look really good. I'll give this one four out of five stars. Next. Okay, so here is uh, maybe a Japanese Nightmare on Elm Street poster. Really dig this one. Very vibrant and colorful. It's an explosion of colors. Uh, really love the, uh, you know, the synthwave uh, checker board kind of thing right under Nancy. Really cool stuff. Uh, I dig that. I dig that. Four out of five stars. Next. Okay, so here we have a Nightmare on Elm Street 2 VHS art. Is this UK? Warner Home Video. This is fantastic. That shot of Freddy uh, is out of this world. I've always liked that. I've, I've seen t-shirts of that before from Walmart years and years ago. I remember having it. That's a great shot of Freddy. I love it. Uh, that's one of the most iconic images from the franchise, in my opinion. Five out of five stars. Next. Okay, another Nightmare 5 poster. I love this one. As you can see, like behind Freddy, it's almost like a silhouette of like a, a church entrance. Uh, which kind of goes with the gothic themes of Nightmare 5, which I dig. Got the baby carriage in there. Love Nightmare 5. Love these posters for Nightmare 5. I'm going to give this one 4 to 5 stars. Dig that one a lot. Next. We got a Nightmare 4 VHS cover. That is killer. Uh, don't do anything too different, but the back shot of Freddy uh, on there is great. I'll give that a 4 out of 5 stars. All these are awesome. Next. Okay, so here we have a Nightmare on Elm Street 3. This is some really weird countries poster. Um, as you can see, it's Dream Warriors, but at the very top, we've got Freddy's Dead. Points for originality, 3.9 out of 5 stars. Next. Okay, so here's a really cool Nightmare 4 uh, side, sideways poster. Uh, we've got the Crave Inn Diner, really cool. Uh, May 5th, all over the country. Don't know where this is from either, but this is really awesome. I dig this a lot. Four to five stars. Yes, Freddy Delivers, number five at cinemas on May 11th. I always loved Pregnant Freddy. That is amazing. Five out of five stars. How do you not love that? That is absolutely fantastic. Next. Another Dream Child poster. This one's sick too. Freddy's giving birth to a brand new nightmare. Nightmare 5 got a lot of really cool, weird posters, and this is another example. I really, really dig this one. Gotta love it. Four to five stars. Nightmare 2 Die Rush. This is killer, because they've got the great shot of the Stunt Double Freddy. Outside, you can see some lightning and the, the, the blue skies, or the, the black skies, rather. Love it. That is amazing. I would die to have a poster like that. It's like a day bill. I'd love that love it to death that's a perfect score for me all right here we've got a new nightmare poster uh this is some kind of asian poster dig that it's a good poster 
Um, not a big fan of the American New Nightmare artwork, quite frankly. Some of those aren't that great. But this one's pretty good. Three out of five. La Nueva Pasadilla. De West Craven. Better. We uh, kind of use some imagery from the poster B in America, which is the close-up of the New Nightmare Freddy eyes. Pretty good. Three out of five. Next. Okay, Freddy's New Nightmare. This is a, a VHS art for maybe... Is that German or something? Not sure, but that's awesome. Really like that. VMP Home Video. That's great art. I'll give it that. That's good. Next. Another one. Now, this one's cool. This one's really cool. I don't know anything about this. I love the fact that New Nightmare on the backside of VHS tape has the original Elm Street font. That's great. Really love that. That's a 4 out of 5. Okay, now we've got a Nightmare 1 Japanese VHS, maybe. Another great one. Really digged it. Oh, the shot of her in the body bag with the centipede or whatever coming out of her. That's gross. 4 to 5. Really cool. And then there's a Freddy's Dead UK. They saved the best for last. I dig that. I dig that. But it's not the greatest ever. I'll give that a 3 out of 5. All right, so there it is, guys. That is a bunch of foreign art for A Nightmare on Elm Street. Wow. This franchise is not only the best ever and every other way, but their foreign artwork is out of this world. Uh, America did some good ones, but there's no denying that that foreign stuff is killer. So there it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Please let me know what your favorite one is. And if you own any of these, anybody out there across the pond that owns any of these posters, DM me on, an, on Instagram, Planet CHH, and show me. Thank you guys for watching this video. That was fun. Should we do this for another franchise? Let me know. We'll see you guys next time. I want to say thanks to all my amazing Patreon supporters who make Planet CHH possible. For behind the scenes photos, videos, music, private live streams, and more, you could subscribe for as little as a dollar a month.